confronting people about their zits. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, you have a zit right there. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, do you want to just hold still and I can get rid of it, actually? Uh, sure. Okay, do you just wait till the timer goes off? Sure. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It's gone. Wow, can you do the rest? <laughs> it's an acne laser. Here, you can have it. Thanks. <sighs> okay. So Dr. Maxfield was influenced. I was. And he bought one of these devices. And there are many different forms of these that seem to go viral mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Today, we're gonna be talking about these light devices as a cure for acne. Here we go. Here we go. So my first question, if I came up to you in a store, and I said, hey, I'd like to confront you about your acne. And I put a device to your face and I like introed it here. What would your response be? For 60 seconds. For 60 seconds, it's suspect. Well, the acting wasn't very good. It doesn't mean that the product doesn't work. We'll, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. This is a poorly acted commercial <laughs> and we'll move on from there. Let's forget the, the plot okay, of the video. Going. There are several types of these devices that have seen to show up. The blue light devices and sometimes the red light devices that appear to be treated acne in these videos. Do you think that these work? Is there any legitimacy to this? Right. And so we've talked about this before. If you followed us for a while, you know that there is some, I'll set this wand down. There is some validity to this because I have to talk with my hand. Both red light and blue light have been studied and been shown to be effective for acne. Blue light in particular activates the production of protoporphyrins, which kills the acne. They both help adjust the inflammation from acne. So yes, the science is in theory there. So the science seems to be there. I mean, we've covered when we did our LED video, which we'll link above, we talked a little bit about the benefits of light on the skin. I thought it was all hocus pocus back when I was first introduced to it, but it does seem like blue light at a specific wavelength can hit these protoporphyrins that are in your acne lesion and cause them to decrease the inflammation, decrease the oil, production, treat the underlying inflammation, red light has anti-inflammatory benefits, can be beneficial for wrinkles even through this process called photobiomodulation. Science seems to be legit. Now the question is, herpes labialis, what do we think? So this is not something we've really talked about before and we might be remiss to not have done so. There are a few studies discussing the benefits of low level light therapy in treating herpes labialis or herpes of the mouth. And this is, there's, this is like the common cold sore or is this actually the viral outbreaks from the herpes virus? Um, potentially both. We have all been exposed to the herpes virus, by the way. Um, the majority of people get it at birth when they pass through the vaginal canal. So this is something that everyone probably will struggle with at some point in some form in their life. But yes, the light therapy can in theory be beneficial for this as well. Right, so it appears as if in some of the studies that we've seen, and these aren't large scale clinical studies, these aren't clinically proven, these aren't FDA approved studies or anything like this, but it seems as if that the low level light therapy, sometimes in the red light wavelength and sometimes in the more infrared or higher longer wavelengths, we can see some decrease in herpes labialis outbreaks in people that treat the area with red light. The trouble with some of these studies is that they're, they're treating the area over like the entire area where you break out. So you'd have to treat the entire lip. So you would then have to take this device, zap, 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 and just go around the entire mouth like this, right? Eventually this starts to become impractical to prevent outbreaks because the way that herpes works is that once you're exposed to the virus, it travels to those ganglion cells where they remain dormant in your nerves and in times of stress, these, this virus is then reactivated down those nerve fibers leading to an outbreak along the certain dermatome or during in, in the nerves, trigeminal nerves that are affected by this virus. And so these things are gonna be always prone to reactivating. So you would constantly have to treat this area. So is this a practical way to treat that? That's question number one. Is it practical? So that's, I mean, a big part of this. We've actually talked about light therapy. If you haven't realized more in the setting of prevention than treatment, we say it can treat, we say it can help, but it works better for prevention. And the idea of using the spot treatment, which by the way, as you saw in the video, there's a timer. So you have to hold it on for a dedicated period of time while you're treating the area until it goes away. So I'll just do it now, just to give you a point of reference. So you put it over the lesion while you're treating it, and then you would have to do this for each individual lesion that's present. And if you wanted to be proactive, you'd have to do it over each individual 
acne or herpes prone spot to prevent recurrent. As an individual who's time crunched in life. This seems prohibitive. I can't imagine spot treating my whole face for prevention. That was 30 seconds by the way. And you can do 60 or 90 second treatments and you'd have to do that for every spot. Let's say for example, if you had one cold sore outbreak and you needed to treat it and it did potentially speed up the resolution of these lesions, kind of hit or miss there. Or you had one pimple and you had a, a vent that you were going to and you wanted to use blue light and red light to try to speed up the resolution of that pimple, get it to heal quicker. You know, potentially there's some utility there. I really think that if you're getting acne, you're consistently breaking out with acne in multiple areas, multiple zones. It's much more practical to have a skincare routine that treats acne all the time, prevents these breakouts, actually treats the underlying cause. So we always say adapalene, benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, using these consistently rather than just trying to treat a pimple as it comes up. And the same thing with herpes labialis, these things are recurrent. And so instead of treating them as they arise, if you're getting recurrent outbreak, using suppressive therapy to try to keep the virus from being reactivated is much more practical and you're gonna see much better results. Now, if you really wanted to stay away from medications, and we see this often in our comments that, you know, of course you're doctors, of course you're gonna recommend medications over these natural therapies. If we could use light, why don't we use light? Sure, if you really want to use light, you don't want to use medications, you want to use natural supplements, it's not the route that I would necessarily go, but if you wanted to go that route, then it's much more practical to use a red light or a blue light mask, which we've highlighted in the past, because they're going to be able to give you that prevention that you need, because you'll be able to use it in a practical manner. You put it on for three minutes, and then you take it off. You can do that once a day, and then at least you'll get the results that we're seeing in some of these studies in a way that you can actually fit into your lifestyle and fit into a way that you're actually going to see results. And that's a big problem with what I had from this video. One is just the practicality of it. It's so much- And the plot of the video. Well, the plot. Apparently I had a huge problem with the plot too, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it just seemed like, why would you use a spot treatment when you have a device? These are not cheap either. It's not like this is 1099 at Walmart and the other devices are How 400. Much was this? this was, I think 200 or something after no. taxes. And some of them are $400. Like they're not cheaper than a You mask. got scammed. Well, yeah, I let myself, I bought this so you don't you have to. You paid $200 for this? I paid something like that because I care about you. I didn't want you buying this. So he I bought, bought it, it so you don't have to. I, obviously I was skeptical from the get-go, but I was like, you know what? Before I rip this, let me have it in hand. Do you have any zits we can delete? I already... Because that's the second part of this. Ooh, that's bright. It is bright. Don't shine it in your eyes. That's, I mean, just Ooh. obviously don't do that. Okay. We're watching magic happen because this is the second arm of it is if it works and let's say you still decide to buy this device, is it going to delete your acne? Because this is the expectations part of it. It gets a little warm. It gets a little toasty. It does. And there are I think warnings on the box about that. No change, no change. That's shocking. Also in the video, you notice they never go back and actually show the pimple the way they showed it in the beginning of the video. They showed it through a mirror and you can never see up close what it actually looked like. Anyway, regardless, even if it did work, which some of the studies show that this low level light therapy, red light, blue light can help with acne, it's not gonna work immediately. Even if it does decrease the inflammation, it's not like, you know, right away. Obviously manage your expectations if you do end up using red light or blue light. I wouldn't waste your money. He wasted the money so you don't have to. So what's our overall verdict on these devices that seem to never stop? Uh, yeah, definitely the verdict on this is don't purchase, don't buy. I don't know what the verbiage we're gonna come down with these on, but save your money. Save your money. If you feel inclined to buy a red light or a blue light mask, we'll link some below. We will not link that below, so don't look for it. We will not be recommending that going it's, forward. It's in my shop, my shelf, so come check it out. It's not in my shop, my shelf, don't go there. They even have whole, like not whole body devices. Well, they do actually have whole body, the panels. huge panels of lights yeah. if you really want to go gangbusters on light therapy. I've seen some people who use red light consistently every day for years and then their skin actually looks great. I mean, that would make sense from the data. And I, I like Dr. Shaw, we I were both very skeptical of this tech to begin with. Um, this is just not a good application of good tech. That's it. Plain and simple, doctorly, not approved. Not approved. All right, thank you all so much for tuning in. Let us know what else you want us to review. I know you have all actually alerted us to mm -hmm. a lot of the devices that are out there, the things that are being marketed to you on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Sometimes we don't see those things, so definitely let us know because then we can research those devices, purchase those devices, purchase those skincare products, and then we know what to review in the future. So thank you all so much for your feedback. We'll see you in the next video. We'll see you next time.